Hello students, I am Dr. Alicia Plant from the Department of Digital Learning here at Beulah Heights University. I am going to take you on a tour today in your Brightspace classroom, so come on. To get there, you have to type into your address bar, brightspace.beulah.edu, and it brings you here to your university homepage. From there, you'll see your course announcements and a list of all of your courses and also a place to use chat to speak with a live Brightspace person if you have any questions or concerns. Uh, let's see, let's log into one of our classes here. Okay, let's go to Theological Research and Writing, and this is our course home page. On the course home page, we see that we have the activity feed and announcement section. We also have university information that you should be aware of. There is a catalog, that was connected to our main website, classroom guidelines, our library link, and something called the Center for Student Achievement. Just for you. Let's click in there, see what we have. So here in the Student Center for Academic Achievement, we have student life, we have university policy and compliance, university resources and materials, and we also have a link to our new tutoring center, our virtual tutoring center, TutorMe. In your Brightspace class, Let's go back to our homepage, course homepage, and let's take a look around here. On our navigation bar, you see some handy dandy tools. There's the group tools, there's also Brightspace help, and your grades tab and assessments. But where you're going to live in your courses is under the content tab. In the content tab, you will notice one 15 to 16 tabs, okay? To include your course introduction, and some of you, if you're in your eight week classes, you'll have about nine of them. Let's click into each one. The course introduction is listed for you here, but you have to click into it to get all of the content that's there. Your syllabus and your community discussion is housed here. Back under our content tab, we can also go to another week. Let's go to week one. Every week, there are going to be listed for you weekly activities. If there's a discussion listed for that week, that will be, will be there, and also your assignments. So that's a quick tour of your Brightspace classroom. Be sure to get in there today and look around so you can get comfortable with navigating Brightspace. Bye now.